If you want to hear the voice of the voiceless, then sometimes you've got to go to where they are. Minority groups are the ones who are left out when it comes to different medications, trials. The question of diversity in the research environment, I think, is you know one of the questions of our time. It's really about making sure we have different perspectives at the table. And that's something that we strive every day to make sure we're inclusive and holistic in our thinking about diversity and engaging diversity and supporting diversity in research. Equity and social determinants of health are an essential part of understanding what we do. Advancing diverse participation in clinical trials is a key priority for us. To enhance community engagement efforts, the FDA Office of Minority Health and Health Equity partnered with Yale University through a Memorandum of Understanding to engage the community and advance and cultivate the Yale Cultural Ambassadors Program. Yale listens to us and we listen to them, and that's what a partnership should be about. If we're going to generalize the results of any study, we need to have a diverse group of patients. Recent statistics show that Connecticut's population is almost perfectly representative of the population of the United States in terms of racial and ethnic makeup. And that's really been a benefit to us to include populations that have been historically underrepresented in those clinical trials. It's having these varied populations of individuals volunteering um, where we're going to find the answers to a lot of our common chronic diseases. As I look back over the last 15 years, I can honestly say that the CTSA and the Yale Center for Clinical Investigation has had an enormous impact on our communities, on our health system, and how we deliver care. We've created new training opportunities. Uh, we've instituted an electronic medical record, which has made it easier for us to reach out to patients around uh, clinical trials. We've grown our clinical trial volume fivefold. All of that would not have been possible if we didn't have the core funding from the CTSA. An exciting change I've seen uh, over the last few years is the evolution of patient engagement in clinical trials. If you want to understand how to have an impact on a patient's lives, you should ask the patient what would impact their life. One of the most important things about our research is our ability to have an impact on the actual health of our patient and our community. And even after we've discovered drugs or therapies that are successful, we don't always know that they will be implemented in the community. And YCCI has a huge impact on that. Our Cultural Ambassadors Program involves leaders from organizations like Junta or the AME Zion Church, organizations that are deeply embedded in the fabric of our community. The trust that the community has in our ambassadors from Junta and from AME Zion has transformed our ability to make research more relevant to the community and to the, our patient population. And, and it's really transformed the face of clinical research at Yale. We went from having participation as low as 2% to 30% of our total participation last year was from underrepresented minorities. In some trials, we've gone as high as 80, almost 90%. The community seeing Junta and Yale together and as partners, I think that's where the trust begins. And then they say, well, if Junta has done their homework and does trust Yale, then we can trust Yale. One opportunity to help overcome some of the barriers to diverse participation is consistent and continued community engagement. We've collaborated to advance and cultivate the Yale Cultural Ambassadors Program through the engagement of community partners so that we can raise awareness and advance diverse participation in clinical research. This is a template that we think might make a monumental difference in how we do clinical research, particularly with marginalized and unrepresented populations. Yale has used our images in magazines, on trains, to show the community we are partners 
and we share uh, with our doctors and our nurses some of our ideas to better serve our community. It's not just a Latinx issue. It's not just an African-American issue. It is a community-wide issue. Yale has come to our churches to do recruitment. We're able now to partner in such a way as we can uh, empower members of our community in sleep studies, asthma, diabetes. Yale wants us to be knowledgeable. That is what has made this partnership so successful. Both the world of medicine and the world of science have gotten much more complicated and really require teams to be able to accomplish the goals that we want to accomplish. We've developed a program in concert with the School of Management, which we call the Emerging Leaders Program, which helps to teach all of our emerging leaders amongst the faculty how to work together. It's not just uh, the School of Medicine, but the School of Nursing and all the other components of Yale New Haven Health System and individuals who are actually at the Connecticut VA Medical Center as well. One of the sort of key aspects of that program and really the Yale community is mentoring and mentorship uh, taken very, very seriously. Not a single person has tried to take me and shape me into their image and likeness. It's really been about helping me find my position, my place, and my own vision and voice. Uh, and I think that's the key to true mentorship. Together, YCCI provides a community that can um, take these young scientists and these exciting clinical research programs based at the VA, make them part of our community. The most important thing that academic medical centers do is raise the next generation of scientists and physician scientists. And I'm very excited about how we will do that in the coming decade and the role that YCCI will play. Having the right information at the right time at the bedside could literally save lives. It's just not that long ago, information was often stored and locked away in closets, in filing cabinets. That has pretty much gone away with electronic medical records. We can, with a few clicks, see all the lab results, the notes from other physicians and nurses at another institution across the state, even across the country. In recent years, the availability of enhanced informatics through our electronic medical records and genetic information about our patients makes it possible to deliver tailored therapies. We also have the ability now to study new therapies and outcomes in the real world setting through pragmatic trials and other innovative methodology. Here at Yale, we really push the envelope for innovation in healthcare research informatics. Partnering with Epic and Forte, we've dramatically improved uh, what our investigators have access to and the information uh, that they can use for research. We've been able to integrate Epic uh, with Encore, our CTMS, so that we now know when patients have had a serious adverse event or potential one across any of our hospital in our system. One of the most important things that the electronic medical record helps us to do is to have the right match, the right patient, the right time, the right trial. The MyTrar patient portal has also been game-changing for research from the standpoint that it's also helped us achieve a level of diversity or digital diversity, if you will. The patient portal is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We found that uh, minorities are even more so uh, responding after hours. We've gone one step further by having direct-to-patient functionality in the, in the patient portal, and their patient privacy is protected. We want all of our lessons to be transferable to all of our partners so that that approach can not only be implemented here at Yale, but can it be implemented at WashU, at Duke, at University College of London. We were the first to integrate the EHR and the CTMS to really support clinical research billing compliance. We were able to take those lessons, partnered with our vendors, Epic and Forte, and now over 80 centers from around the country and even as far as London and Norway come in and understand the way we've transformed our clinical research enterprise. We are innovators. The way we've integrated our clinical care with our research informatics has dramatically improved care for our patients.